Relax. I'm not doing an Aaron Rodgers thing here. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm not saying that whatsoever. And it's not just Drake. What's this uh, young man's name? FNG. Uh, young man. Lil FNG kid. Lil King. So this kid is a, a rapper that <laughs> just goes to the club with other rappers? Well, don't be can, rude, can you break this down? It was his 11th birthday, so they were, you know, like most rappers, going to the club to celebrate a birthday. What's his name? FNG Lil King. Well, happy birthday to FNG Lil King. You don't mean that. He's the big one one. It was a, is it, we talking about him on his 11th birthday weekend. Yeah, happy but you're like, you're, you're really excited about his birthday? I, I'm not excited. I'm just wishing him a happy birthday. Okay. But you found out about him uh, just now. Well, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know who he is. I don't, I don't follow... Uh, I don't follow him as a, his music, but do you think he'd listen to my beats? Pause. <sighs> Definitely not. Okay. He don't look like you make the type of beats that FNG Little King would be. Uh, so I don't make beats by. for D'Angelo. I don't make them for. FGA I didn't know. I never said you Lil didn't make King. beats for D'Angelo. I just said when and where you play a beat for D'Angelo is is the difference. All right. So can you guys give me a little bit more backstory? Is this just the I have viral no idea moment? Who, this is. who is this kid? It's just a, another thing that celebrities take a photo of him because it's the moment. So, is yes. he a new little Terry? Remember yeah. little Terry? That's how old I am. FNG King. Um, I have a story about that. Love He's connected to Finesse two times. That, I don't know if you guys know who Finesse two know, times is. That's, yeah, that's his management team. He has yes. two uh, two girls, two sisters pregnant at the same time, right? Does he? Oh, swag. Good. good. This kid's in good hands. I, I don't know where his dick's been. I, like, honestly. No, I, I, I mean, I think, no, Finesse Two Times is very open about that. Like, I think I think he has sisters pregnant or he has two girlfriends. That's, that's what the pregnant. two stands for. Probably. I mean, he's, li he's, he's, he's living not, his art. You got to respect he's living his twice. art. But I do think he has either sisters or two girls pregnant, like, currently or something like that. Well, FNG King has a song um, that went viral. He has, it's called Glorilla Mode. Um, it came out seven months ago and it has 4.4 million views on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And his latest one he dropped a month ago has 648,000 views okay. on YouTube. So he's, he's not unpopular. Oh, no, he's popular. Amongst who, though? Amongst his 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 peers, demographic, amongst his demographic, amongst you know, obviously he has four million views on this video. Like he's popular. I mean, we know how that. As a former digital marketer, optics are one thing. You can fabricate everything. That's, That's very true. true. This four million on YouTube means jack shit. I, I don't know about I'm, meaning jack shit. Yeah, I could get a I could get in one of our videos four million views tomorrow. Can you do? And then it? they might take us off YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it's like not that worth, happens like, when people buy views. Their fucking pages get taken down. Um, labels do it every week. That's true. I mean, but then they just hit, you know text Leo on the side. Yeah, they'll take this one down. Um, I was a little nervous to have this conversation because I didn't want to sound like the Debbie Downer and like ruining all the fun. Because mm -hmm. I feel like I do that a lot, and I don't know. We've seen a bunch of kids that are viral for the moment, and it never <laughs> works out well for them. Like it never, it never helps their growth as going into adulthood well he's a he's an artist he's a rapper right yes he so he's uh he's pretty big on youtube I'm, I'm assuming um so i mean i guess he's just you know this is what's different from this and then when obviously well he's probably not as big as bow wow was at that time but bow wow was in the clubs when he was 12 different time 13 also i think bow wow would say that just did did not help. Well, he told his us that overall himself. life. Yeah, but still, you don't see this as like grooming in a sense. <laughs> um, it is, but again, it's you know, if that's the music that he's making, um, then he's right on par. I don't see it as grooming. I think it's taking advantage of a moment that is only going to affect that kid in a negative way and no one else. Yeah, like this. That's how this, I view this it. And video, that's why I didn't want to be the Debbie Downer here. But this, this is fucked up. Yeah, this video isn't going to affect Drake or change Drake's lifestyle or perception on women at all. This and, kid is going to be the one catching all the, yeah, the trauma from then this Then I was kid. scared that I'm now going to go down the gender path because we'd all be up in arms, rightfully so, if they had an 11-year-old girl in the club dancing with female rappers. But because it's a boy, we don't give a fuck, and this is going to possibly ruin his life and his perception on women, nightlife, just everything in general, materialism. But because it's a little boy, we don't give a fuck. Well, I mean- We'd be up in arms if this was a little girl, as we should be. But we should also be up in arms of how this could be extremely harming to a young boy. And I'm sorry that I'm the Debbie Downer of this topic, because I know it's just fun, viral stuff, and little kids rap with money. Like, why We here to talk about guy? real shit. We here to talk about yeah, real bad, shit. My bad. So, I, yeah. I don't know- 
I watched Little Terrio be in a hotel lobby after Trelectro in 2013, 2012, whenever it was. A whole group of adults at 3 a.m. surrounding Little Terrio with their cameras out trying to get him to do the dance. Mm -hmm. And it's 3 a.m. And this kid is like, what, what are y'all doing? Yeah. This is not this is not healthy for a developing brain. Well, when we sat down with JD and, and Bow Wow, that was one of the things we asked Bow Wow. Do we think that, you know, that part of his life, him being in the clubs and being around women and having access to all these women at that young of an age, did it affect him in 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 you know his adulthood? And he said absolutely it did. There's no doubt about it, that it definitely affected him in a negative way when it came to his relationships with uh with women as a as a as a as an adult. I think that this is some of the same. I mean, I think this he's around, he's in a strip club. It looks like he's in a strip club, throwing money, he's around. So at 11 years old, doing that, you start to, you know, at a young age, look at women very differently. You start to have interactions with your peers differently. I'm talking about his age group, because, you know, at 11 years old, if you're hanging out with Drake and Little Baby and all these guys, like, you know, what does that do when you go, if he's even in school? I don't know. If you go to school now, like, how do you act with, you know, your, pe your peers in your school? And we've all, and that's why I do give Bow Wow a lot of credit for coming out relatively sane. Like, because we've seen plenty of child stars. Oh, yeah. It goes back. Go bad. off the fucking rocker. It goes back. And while this kid is not a child star, if you look at like the Macaulay, Coken, Drew Barrymore, but the list goes on of child stars that did just stay in the business and continue on. We saw that they got fucked up, but they were always still in the spotlight somehow. This kid, and I'm sorry if I'm hating on 11 year olds, there's a high possibility that this is just a moment thing. So who's going to explain to 11 year old when nobody cares about the viral moment anymore? When you turn 13. It's already damaging to have a kid in the spotlight as we've seen. But yeah. those kids at least maintained a success level and an attention level while they were hooked on drugs and fucking up their life. Mm -hmm. This kid, what happens when this passes? Who's explaining to when he turns 12 and Little baby doesn't reply to his DMs. Sorry if I'm putting this on people on their jacket. But when Drake doesn't reply to his DMs, when all the people that wanted to take pictures with him and use this moment no longer care, and when he goes to the club and the bouncer says, you're 12 years old, you can't come in. Because you're not, this isn't a thing anymore. Oh. Who's going to explain to that 12-year-old why nobody is paying attention to him anymore? But what if he grow? What if he, what if he continues to have a flourish? I hope, hope that happens. Career. But what sucks is now... I'm just going off the basis of viral moments yeah. and how long they usually last. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And, and now that's he, why I was scared to talk about this because I'm sounding like a Debbie Downer hater. It's okay. It's no, okay. you sound but like an adult. No, you're right. Because he's a vic now he's a victim of... You changed since you had a kid. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> In a bad way? <laughs> no, I'm just oh. <laughs> I think to Roy's point, he's a victim of the people that he's... Uh, it, the people that are controlling his likeness and his career... Like his life is in their hands. So he's a victim of how they want to push him and how well they can push him and how he's publicly perceived. So like we know in the music business, it's a revolving door. This will run its course. And either they find a younger, not a younger, they're not going to, whatever. They find another artist that's even hotter and they'll divert and put all their attention into that. And like most artists, you get benched or you're no longer the priority. Mm -hmm. Like that's going to happen. It's going to happen at some point with this kid. <clears throat> he will no longer be the face that they're pushing. Then it's okay. Now what? When you have to be alone, and when you're not the hottest thing in the club, but also mm -hmm. you're not in your twenties. You're a child, right? That's and gonna. It's just. It's you're setting this kid up for long. -term again, that, we, <laughs> we're speaking of if he absolutely has no career, no long standing career. We know how this industry works. I mean, but well, now more than ever, yeah, it is fly by night. Yeah, it's like it's over pretty quickly for a lot of people. Not everyone has the her story. Yeah. where they put her out at 13 as Gabby Wilson and it didn't work out and then she came back as an adult. Mm -hmm. Rarely fucking happened. That's and I hope I, I'm not wishing anything ill on Little King. I Actually, it's the opposite. I really hope he has a good support system and family around him mm -hmm. because I don't care if you're 11, 21, 40. This is the worst business as far as maintaining. It is. And it... It fucks up 30-year-olds. Imagine how it could fuck up an 11-year-old. No, Warrior Man!